Hello friends, good morning. In my last lecture, I had discussed about the types of electrical field. Uniform electric field and non-uniform electric field. Non-uniform electric field is further classified as moderately non-uniform electric field and highly non-uniform electric field. In case of highly non-uniform electric field, the partial discharge occurs. Partial discharge means the discharge does not reach the gap between the electrode. It bridges partially the gap between the electrodes, therefore the name is partial discharge. And that occurs in case of non-uniform -elect non electric field, highly non-uniform electric field. Today I will discuss about the corona. Corona also occurs in case of non-uniform electric field. That is one of the types of the partial discharges. In detail, I will discuss the partial discharges type afterwards. Today I will discuss only the corona. Now let us see what is the definition of corona. It is the self-sustained discharge occurring on the surface of conductor or electrode in which the air surrounding the conductor or electrode gets ionized. So to explain this, I have considered this simple diagram. This is the conductor and surrounding this conductor there is a cage that is also metallic cage but it is not touching the electrical conductor. This cage is rounded whereas to this conductor we are applying voltage at one end, other end is floating. When we increase the voltage the electric field will increase and it is non-uniform electric field. Therefore, when Therefore, the air surrounding this conductor starts getting ionized and around this conductor we are getting the charged particles of the air, positive ions as well as electrons. So, these charged particles are in motion, they are generating some noise and we can observe a glow surrounding this conductor if it is dark, that is called as corona. So, this is self-sustained discharge taking place over the surface of the conductor or electrode due to ionization of the air or gas surrounding the conductor or the electrode. So that is corona. Now let us, let us see what are the effects of corona. First effect is the air is ionized. So air molecules break into positive ion and electron and they are in motion. Now they require some energy to keep themselves in motion. That energy they draw from this conductor, this power supply. So there is active power loss. That is the first effect of the corona. This effect is very prominent in case of EHV lines because in EHV line voltage gradient on the surface of the conductor is very high and corona power loss is very high. So that is one of the factor while designing the transmission line for EHV lines. So first effect is there is active power loss. Second is due to this ionization oxides of nitrogen and oxygen are formed. Third effect is when these charged particles are, moved, are in motion they generate some noise that is called as audible noise and due to this movement some frequency is generated and that is producing interference with the communication line and there is radiation and we observe a glow on the surface of this conductor that is called as visual corona. So in the beginning corona takes place just small noise we are here that is the corona inception and when we further increase the voltage we hear some sound that is audible corona and we further if we further increase the voltage gradient or voltage we can observe a glow surrounding this conductor that is the visual corona. So these are the effects of corona. Now there are three important terms or formally associated with corona. First is corona inception gradient, then discharge dissociative voltage and corona power loss. Now let us see what is corona inception gradient denoted by E suffix or subscript C. It is the minimum voltage gradient required to generate corona in air on the surface of conductor. The minimum electric field or voltage gradient required to generate corona on the surface of conductor in air is called as 
coronal inception gradient. This is the formula. Ec is equal to E0 m delta complete multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.301 divided by r into delta. E0 is the voltage gradient or that is the voltage gradient to generate or for breaking the air when under, under uniform electric field when gap is 1 centimeter. This is constant. I had discussed this earlier. It is 30 kV per centimeter. That is the voltage gradient for the air under uniform electric field. So this is fixed. E0 is 30 kV per centimeter. Delta is air density correction factor that depends on pressure and temperature. This also I had discussed. M is surface factor. That is the surface smooth. smooth. How, how smooth is this conductor? That is the M. So in worst case, M can be 0 0.75 or 0.8. And if this conductor is perfectly smooth, then this will be 1. Higher the value of M, more will be the voltage gradient required for generating the corona. And R is radius of the conductor. So if R is higher, then this voltage gradient will be less. So this is the formula for corona inception gradient. And in this, it is expressed in kV per centimeter. Second is disruptive discharge voltage or critical discharge voltage denoted by VCT. It is the minimum voltage required to generate visual corona. It is visual corona in air. Formula is 2R E0 upon root 2 delta M ln twice H upon R. This is natural law. R is radius of this conductor. E0 is voltage gradient in air, that is 30 kV per centimeter. M is surface factor, delta is air density correction factor, R is radius, and H is distance of the conductor from the ground. So here, this is the conductor, and this gauge is grounded, so this is the ground point, so this will be H. And when we compute this, compute VCD by this formula, it will be in kV. And third is corona power loss, denoted by PC. Formula is 244 upon delta F plus 25 V minus VCD square square root of R upon twice H. Delta, air density correction factor, F is frequency of the supply, VCD is critical disruptive discharge voltage, V is applied voltage, R radius, H is height of the conductor from the ground. Multiplied by 10 to the power minus 5. When we use this formula, it is expressed in kilowatt per phase per kilometer. Now, all these three formulas are empirical formulae. They are not derivation based. They are statistical based. So, they are empirical formula. Now, if you observe this formula, here, this complete is multiplied by F plus 25. So, first thing, when we are using DC transmission, frequency is zero. So, F plus 25 will be equal to 25. When we are using AC transmission, F is 50 Hz, so 50 plus 25, so this factor is 75. With DC it is only 25, with AC it is 75. Therefore, in case of DC transmission, the corona power loss is less. Second important factor, in case of DC transmission, we can have either transmission of positive with positive polarity or transmission with negative polarity. In my last lecture, I had given you the breakdown characteristic of the DC positive polarity and DC negative polarity voltage. In that, you can see for the same distance, the DC breakdown voltage is higher as compared to DC, sorry, DC breakdown voltage with negative polarity is higher than DC breakdown voltage with positive polarity. So, VCD with negative polarity will be higher. If it is higher, this difference will be less. This difference will be less, so corona power loss will be less. Therefore, if it is DC transmission with negative polarity, the corona power loss is relatively less. Therefore, whenever there is single polarity DC transmission, monopolar DC transmission, the polarity is always negative. So, by using this formula, we can compute the corona power loss. So, in this lecture, I have discussed what is corona, what is its effect. Corona inception gradient, disruptive discharge voltage, and corona power loss.
In the next class, I will take one numerical based on these equations. Thank you.